Hello, my name is Nick Hammerschmidt, and this is my senior capstone collection entitled Psycho Fungus. This collection began with visual research on various topics, one of which was parasites. At the time, I had recently seen the movie Parasite and Natalie got invested in parasitic organisms as a result. Through my research, I stumbled upon a nature documentary on parasitic fungus and instantly became enamored with the creepy visuals that resulted from these organisms consuming ants from the inside out. The following slides are sketchbook pages of research I conducted on these incredible organisms. The more I looked at the images I was finding of fungus growing from insects, the crazier it looked to me. And then I began to think about how others might view them, especially people under the influence of hallucinogenics. This is where the collection really took hold visually in my head, and I created this mood board to speak to what the concept really is. It's a story of a psycho horror where bugs are mind-controlled and eventually killed by parasitic fungus. So with that in mind, I began sketching and abstracting the parasitic fungus and its prey in very fluid mediums such as inks, watercolors, and fabric dyes. I chose these mediums to try to capture the trippy visuals that I was envisioning, and I was really enjoying the textures I was seeing out of my work. I then brought them into a digital format to further push those textures and was incredibly happy with the motifs that resulted. Armed with this palette of motifs, I began to make digital repeats and engineered prints meant to be digitally printed onto garments. Some of them, like these on this slide, were intended to be graphics for t-shirts or jackets, while others like these were meant as pants or accents within a garment. At this point, I wanted to explore another process, so I began to weave some of the patterns I had created in jacquard fabric in 100% white and cream cotton that I then painted directly onto with the same mediums I created my motifs with. I believe that these helped bring a softer texture to the collection that I enjoyed very much and wanted to explore more. This soft textured direction then evolved into embroidery. I used a technique of embroidery to create pile to evoke the motif of parasitic fungus bursting through the exoskeletons of its prey. I originally envisioned this pile being created through tufting, but ultimately decided to hand embroider as it gave me some more control. The final part of the collection is a series of hand woven and dyed fabrics that I carried out to add yet another texture into the collection. One that saw similar dyeing techniques, but on much larger fibers that resulted in a different effect than the dyes applied to the jacquard wovens. Here on this slide is the collection as a whole. I think I found success in the diversity of color and texture, while still maintaining a cohesive feel and visual language throughout the collection. The final slide is a grouping of all the intended final uses envisioned for these textiles. This collection, although odd and a little off the wall, is something that I hope anyone can find enjoyment out of. Thank you so much for listening. I would also like to thank the entire textile design faculty at Jefferson for helping me grow as a designer for the past four years. Thank you again. Have a good one.